Little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky tacky, little boxes, little boxes, little boxes. Autism Malik. Who are we treating anyway, child or parent? In this video, I will tackle a few problems commonly encountered in handling a child on the autism spectrum. First, stimming. Some parents see all forms of stimming as a damning sign that their child is different from other kids and are quite often embarrassed by it. They go to extra length to make the habit go away or get it extinguished. They are often proud of their accomplishment and the resources spent to reach this goal. However, for the child, stimming represents a badly needed means of stress relief. Children do not understand stress management. They only know how they feel. And many find out pretty quickly that they can feel better by plucking hair, or rocking, or biting nails, or cutting skin, etc. By extinguishing the stimming habit through behavioral manipulation and door threats, we are depriving the child of this relief and compounding her suffering. An alternative approach would be to provide other means of stress relief. In which case, the habit will disappear spontaneously. This does not mean that stress management makes stimming disappear forever. No, as a matter of fact, whether you use stress relief or take the child to a conventional therapist, stimming may still come back during crises. Sensory overload or depressive circumstances. Stimming should be viewed for what it is. A rare sign that children display, telling us they are in a state of distress. Especially in the case of autism we should be mindful of these nonverbal signs to manage them, rather than try to extinguish them.